Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, it's been a hot minute. Yeah, a lot of things have been happening the past few weeks. Um, I was getting new lighting, new camera, new SD cards, reorganizing this back room so I can have like a filming station and a place to put all my makeup. And um, so that's what you see right now. Like for the most part, I need one more curtain to go right back here. Um, just to cover that window, but this is basically where I will be filming from now on. I won't have these shelves behind me anymore. If you hear anything, any background noise, Chewy is always in here with me. Um, right now he is trying to get to the window. Anyways, I haven't filmed in a long time so I was setting up everything and waiting for orders to come in from Amazon. They all came in finally, so we are ready to go. So today is Sunday, we're not really doing anything, me and my husband. Um, just relaxing and chilling. It's been a pretty crazy weekend to say the least, but I wanted to go ahead and film the first video and the new setup. Uh, so I don't have anything planned. I just wanted to go ahead and do a talk through tutorial or like a get ready, get ready with me type of video. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully it's focusing on me. I don't know like how to make it focus on me. Well, I hope, I hope it's focusing on me. Like how can we tell? How can we tell? Yay! Okay, I think I was in focus that whole entire time. <laughs> I'm sorry. But as I was saying, my brows are already done. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face because it's feeling a little bit dry. It is winter here in Chicago officially. There is no snow, but it is cold. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray with this. This is the Josie Marin Nirvana Mist, like hydrating mist. I've had this for so long. Okay, wrong way. Summer is when I usually use this, like when we go to the beach as a family. Um, this is really nice to like refresh the face. I just kind of spray it all over. Um, and then we're going to go ahead, I'm going to color correct really quickly because you can, I mean you guys can't really tell, but I am red on my cheeks right over here for some reason and on my chin. I don't know why I always get red there, but I do. Oh, you know what? No, we're not going to color correct right now. I'm going to prime the face really quickly. And to prime the face, I am going to use two primers today. Uh, one is more hydrating, more luminizing. I just really want it to be dewy just because it is so dry and cold in Chicago. And the other is more to like blur any like texture or imperfections. So for the imperfections and texture and pores, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Baby Skin. And then for more hydrating, luminizing base, I'm going to use the Chanel LeBlanc de Chanel illuminating multi-use base so both of these together is what I will be using so going in with a few pumps of the Chanel kind of just keeping that where I'm mostly dry with this one as you can see it does give you a white cast but don't be afraid if you just rub it in everything will be good if I'm looking over here my mirror is here if I'm looking over here my monitor is there, <laughs> so I am sorry. I like can be quite annoying, like when you're watching a YouTuber and they're just they can't stop looking at each, at themselves. Like, but you can kind of tell the difference, like those who like to look at themselves and those who are literally just trying to figure out if they're in focus or whatever. Like, there is one girl that I watch, and she's amazing. I'm not gonna say her name, but she's a really great um, YouTuber. Oh, by the way, I'm just taking a dollop. That's a really tiny amount right there, if you can see. Um, I'm gonna put that on my forehead to smooth that area out. And then I'm gonna take a even smaller amount for my nose. Um, but yeah, so this one girl, she's a really great YouTuber, but she just cannot stop looking at the viewfinder. Okay, so going in with color correctors, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealers in green and orange to color correct. The green, if you don't know, is really helpful to counteract redness um, on your face. Any of the color correcting colors, so like green, orange, purple, yellow, peaches, um, those all have... Um, a purpose so like green is good for red oranges or peaches are good for like blues and purples under the eyes um, purple if your skin is looking a little bit dull is really great for kind of brightening and making your skin look a little bit revitalized um, so they all have a purpose um, I did with Emily a color correcting video just testing it out to see if it actually works 
I think it works and I think that you can tell in the video how it did help um, a little bit and so if you want to check that out I will link it down below so going in with the orangey shade I'm gonna put that right where I have the most like I I'm just really tired all the time but I have dark circles around here and really primarily focusing that right in the inner corner and so with this one a little bit goes a long way like even that's probably just a little too much so I'm gonna go in with my finger and just kind of tap that out a little bit you can do a brush or a sponge really any but do you see what I mean like a little bit goes a long way okay so now that we are there we're gonna go ahead and start on the eyes first and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the face so for um, prepping the eyelids I'm gonna go in with I need brushes Where are my brushes but I'm gonna go ahead and take like kind of a flat shader brush so like this like a synthetic brush is what I mean um, almost like a concealer brush. This one is from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to go ahead and cut underneath here. Clean up the brows because I haven't done my brows in several, several months. It's going to be probably like five months soon. Um, and then just to clean them up and prep the eyelid. So going in with the Maybelline Master Conceal. I am in the shade Medium. I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand. That's probably way too much. I don't know if you guys heard any of that, but I was here talking and doing makeup. But I went ahead and cleaned up my brows underneath using the Maybelline Master Conceal in Medium with a synthetic like flat eyeshadow brush to help carve it out. And then um, blended that out with the Real Technique sponge. And right now, I am going to set it. I was talking to you guys for a while. Going in with the Anastasia this is the World Traveler eyeshadow palette. I'm going to go in with the light peach shade, which is this one right here. Um, I'm going to put that all over my lid with a big, flat, fluffy brush. So I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. I do know I want to use this palette. I'll probably use this palette in conjunction with the Shan XO because I literally have not put this one down. I think what I'm going to do is in the Shan palette is take this shade right here. It doesn't have a name. just like reminds me of the creamsicle shade in the Jaclyn Hill. Just a little bit more, I don't know, more muted almost. I just love I feel like I always need this in my crease now before going in with another crease shade like I can't move forward unless I have the shade in there um if you're not familiar with Shanixo I love her to death like I feel like we're sisters <laughs> I had this dream a while ago of I somehow won some contest that she was having to meet her and spend a weekend with her her and uh her boyfriend, oh my god, I keep thinking of Mush Mush Vlogs or Mosh Mosh Vlogs or he has a vlog channel, um, but, and then we had such a great time that she was like, oh my god, we're best friends, and we were best friends ever since. Um, I know, very weird to dream of a YouTuber, but that happened to me. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the same brush and pick up Morocco and kind of just coat the brush tapping off the extra and we're going to go in the crease again and really make it warm as you guys know i am a warm torn person i feel like i can't do anything unless the crease is warm Ugh, it's the worst like almost sitting here is it feels a little awkward i am excited though because i feel like it's now professional filming i mean i'm sure it's not like they're compared to other youtubers now oh my god they're like making videos like movies is what I mean that's crazy I kind of like this just like me camera no one's here I know it's probably weird I'm like girl you're just like talking to yourself but I kind of like it I don't know why I don't know. helps me get my mind together I don't know don't judge me I'm kind of nervous man I, to be honest I'm really nervous about carrying this channel I just really want to do well and provide great content for everyone and really grow it. I mean, it is a hobby, but it's almost like it's gotten to the point for me where I feel like it's therapeutic. 
I don't know why, but it is. I don't know. I've just gotten so used to filming and to not do it. It's just weird. Um, and stressful because I want it to be good. I always get this weird patchy area right here. Like, eyeshadow will never stick there for some reason. So I do want something a little bit more red in the crease. So taking this shade right here, and I'm going to put that right on top where we put um, Morocco with the same Sephora tapered crease brush. Tapping off the excess. This is just a little bit more red. I almost wish I would have went in with this one before Morocco, but that's okay. That's okay. So I don't know when this stopped again, but apparently... It keeps stopping recording. Well, I took this Tarte Gunmetal eyeshadow and put that on the lower part of my lid, blended it out a little bit, and with a flat, like, short shader brush, I picked up Mocha, focusing that on top of where you put Gunmetal. And now I'm going in with a MAC 217, just taking a little bit out of time and putting that in the crease, just to make sure everything is blended and diffused and just very cohesive. Um, so that's what we're working on. I am going to have to try and, like, keep looking over here then, because... This camera keeps playing me. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do is go back in with the flat shader brush and picking up some more of fudge. I'm gonna repack that all over the lid, darkest on the bottom, because as we blend, it does kind of get dusted away. And you wanna do padding motions, not swiping. If you swipe, you will get a lot more fallout. If you just pat, just ensures that Nothing is going to really fall down onto your face. Okay. Going back in with the... I went a little too high right there. With the MAC 217, I'm just going to blend this crease out a little bit more. It is go back in with the Sephora Pro Tapered Crease Brush and take a little bit of that red from the Shan XO palette and a little bit of Morocco and kind of just mixing those two together dusting off the excess and kind of focusing that at the very top. Yeah, it's because I feel like some of that red got pushed aside by the brown. Hmm. We'll just leave it like that for now. I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye off of camera and then we'll be back to finish up the eyes and the rest of the face. So yeah, okay. So this is how we're looking. It looks a little crazy right now, but it will look better, I promise. It will look better. Okay, so for right now, we're gonna stop right there with the eyes. I'm gonna go on with the rest of the face. What I want to do is go in with Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal and add a little bit of that to my, oh, I said a little bit and I squeezed out way too much. Because I do want to be luminous and I feel like I still don't look like super dewy and especially with like a really matte eye I feel like a dewy face is really pretty. Okay so I went ahead and used the Anastasia cream contour kit in medium and I'm gonna go ahead and take well I took I should say this darker shade right here and I'm going to cream contour my cheekbones, and I already blended out the one that was on my forehead. And I like to do this before I do foundation. I just like to cream contour underneath it versus on top. I just think it looks a lot more natural. Okay, so that is it for cream contouring. I probably will do some cream, cream bronzing and use probably like a mix of these two shades right here to cream bronze but i'm gonna do that after foundation the foundation i'm gonna use today i have a love hate relationship with it basically all of the makeup forever bronzers i have a love hate relationship with but this one is and y405 i've used this a couple times already um this lasted me quite a while this one's a little bit more yellow undertoned than what i'm used to but um it's okay. So we're going to do a section at a time just because um, I don't want it. I feel like it dries really quickly. And I'm going to spritz my brush with a little bit of the Josie Marin spray we used earlier. 
I brush my sponge, I mean. For concealer, I'm going to go back in with the Master Conceal from Maybelline. I'm just going to put some right under the eye. I'm gonna tap that out with my finger just to kind of warm it up. The reason why I don't really like this foundation is that I feel like it emphasizes all my texture, but I do, the one pro I do like is that A, it's a stick, so it's creamier. Um, so it doesn't feel dry at all, you know, on my skin, um, and it does leave a dewy type of finish, which I appreciate. So to clean up the edges a little bit, I'm going to add a little bit more concealer on a concealer brush. No. To cream bronze, I'm going to go back into the Anastasia palette and on a dual fiber brush. This is the one from Sephora. This is their small stippling brush. I am going to take a little bit of this shade and a little bit of this darker one and do exactly that is just stipple this on. I'm going to go in with a Milani Prep Set and Go Powder and with the damp sponge just kind of... Mine is completely broken if you can see. Just picking some up on the sponge and popping that right underneath and then taking some and putting that on my chin wherever we put the concealer and then for the rest of my face I am going to go in with the wet and wild photo focus press powder I love this stuff I use it all the time I'm going to set my face with this and um, move on to the powder products for powder bronzer I'm gonna go in with the LA colors I love makeup contour palette um, and Oh, I just done my finger into that. Take a combination of it looks really cool tone, but they're not of these two shades right here. Dipping in these two. It is really powdery, so tap off the excess. I'm gonna go in and bronze the skin. Just making sure I'm getting that in the hairline. I'm going to take a little bit of Morocco and Fudge and kind of smoke that on the lower lash line. And then what I want to do is I want to take this, either one of these brighter colors and put this on the lower lash line too. Just a more detailed brush and taking Azure, packing that on here and I'm going to run that in the middle of my eye, like underneath the pupil. With another flat shader brush, I'm going to take a little bit of fudge and put that right on the outer end. Apparently it stopped recording, but all I did was um, for the brow bone highlight, I took from the Shanexo palette this color right here to give a little bit more of a sheen because the soft peach color in the Anastasia palette, this one right here, just wasn't giving me enough oomph. The gold in the inner corner, which is called metallic. And then to blend everything out at the outer end, I use a little bit of mocha and then Morocco. I am going to actually take this one from Milani. It is actually broken on me. It is a romantic rose powder blush. It's a little bit more neutral and I think it would suit the makeup look really well. I'm just going to kind of dab in here because I'm being very careful. I'm just going to put this on the apples of our cheeks and bring it back. I like to pull it back to the temple area. For the under eyes, just to brighten a little bit more, I'm going to go back into the LA Colors Contour Palette and I am going to take a mixture of the yellow and um, this shade right up here. Tapping off the excess, then I'm going to just go ahead and add some brightness under here. So before we move on, I'm going to spray my face with MAC Fix Plus. So my face isn't super dry just yet, um, and that's a good thing because we're going to go in with some highlighter. I haven't used these palettes in a very long time. These are the Anastasia Glow Kits, um, and I think I'm going to do this one. Alright, 
right, so I added on falsies and then mascara to my lower lash line. The mascara I used is the same one that I used for the top lashes, which is the Roller Lash from Benefit. It's a really good, really good mascara. Um, so next I'm just going to go ahead and figure out a lip color. I kind of want to do like a brown, and I also want to do like a red or something okay so going in with the nyx matte lip liner in club hopper whoa going in with taupe i'm gonna zoom you guys in for a close-up of the makeup look and then we'll be done so yeah Alright guys, so that completes this tutorial slash get ready with me. I'm so sorry, was it so talkative? It's really hard for me to talk while doing makeup. Like, I don't know. I had to get used to it. Excuse me, sir. It's chewy. Really? Really? Come here. Come here. Don't lick the lipstick. Don't lick the lipstick. So it was really hard for me to talk and do makeup, but I will get better at it, I promise. But yeah guys, if you want to see more videos like this, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up or if you've enjoyed this one. If you have any suggestions, let us know down below. Tell them, Chewy, down below. Other than that, I will see you in the next one. Bye.